Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to go through how to set up Tablet Pro with Photoshop. Uh, this is Photoshop 2022, and I'm going to load up the artist pad for it. Now, if you have the pen tool installed, you can either single click the pen tool here, or you can press Win Shift Z, and that will load it over here on the side. Now, if you don't have any of this installed, go to tabletpro.com slash install, and you'll see the quick guide for how to get this set up. Now, Photoshop, just because we have a button over here doesn't mean that that button is going to do exactly what we want over here because some things need to be set up inside of Photoshop. So we're gonna talk about what those things are, what to expect, and how to do a number of different things inside of the artist pad and with Photoshop and how some of it works. So this guide shouldn't be too complicated. Don't be intimidated. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the artist pad, get a general idea of what it does. So I'm gonna put down a brush stroke and then I'm going to resize. Now this resize, you're actually gonna put just your thumb on the screen and pull the pen away and just left or right to increase size, up or down to adjust opacity or hardness. And this setting, you actually change inside of uh, edit and then preferences. So we're gonna to go to general. This is actually under tools. In tools, there's an option right here, very round brush hardness based on HUD vertical movement. So I have that turned off. Click okay. And now we have this adjusting again, our opacity and our size. All right, now here, if I put my thumb here, and these have a uh, number of tooltips, you can turn the tooltips on or off right down here. Let's turn them back on for right now. If I put my thumb here and I drag around on the screen, it's going to open up the HUD color picker. This is a really fast way to move through colors. And again, you're using this one, you're using it just with your thumb, not with the stylus. Now I can have my palm resting on the screen and press another button. I can have my palm resting on the screen and pick different colors. So you don't have to pull the stylus very far away from the screen for this to work. Now the color picker, I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna tap the color picker and then I'm going to use the stylus and I have to do that within one second because we have a mode on inside of Tablet Pro called plus one second. Now, if there's a lot of information right now, don't worry, we'll go through it. We'll go through it nice and slowly and it's not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna press Alt. And then we move the stylus around the screen and we pick it up. It'll have selected that color. So color picking this Alt button first and then the stylus right afterwards. Okay, so this is a general idea here. If we wanna open up panels, you're gonna notice that when you start using Photoshop for the first time with Tablet Pro, you're gonna see that some of these things don't work the way that we expect them to. So layers here, I'm gonna press this layers panel button. And you're gonna see that it's all it's doing is just hiding this over here on the side. So what I wanna do is I wanna drag this out to the very middle of the screen. Now I can toggle this on and off and it stays centered right underneath basically where my stylus lives while I'm drawing. All right, so let's do that same thing. Let's do it with a couple other panels. So we have this one right here is swatch. This one right here is brushes. And you may need to assign this. And if you look over here and the tooltip says assign in PS. Let's see, let's look at this one right here, assign in PS. Brush, blend, assign in PS. PS obviously stands for Photoshop. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into the edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, and we're gonna assign it. Application menus, fine. And we're gonna scroll to windows and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find swatch. Swatches, we're gonna tap right here and then we're gonna tap the button here with the same name, swatch. All right, F4, that's fine with me, except we're just going to accept. And this one for brush panel, let's go up here and find 
brushes, F3, and we are just going to accept. And right here, we have blend. It says this one needs to be assigned, so we're going to go right here. Let's go ahead and close this. Go right here. We're going to slide out, edit toolbar, and then we can go down here, and we're going to find blend. And we're going to use a smudge tool here. I'm going to press this button. Button. Let's input the keyboard shortcut K. We have K up here. We don't want to use it. Then we need to delete that. So we're going to All right, we should be all set. So over here we have swatches. So now if I press swatch, you're gonna see it's, it switches over here to swatch. So I'm going to drag this one out as well. And let's say we want our pastels here or pure. That's what I want, I want pure. All right, so swatches right here. Now we have brushes here. I'm going to drag this out. general brushes here. Obviously, if we want to add brushes, we can need to do that. Okay, so let's say a uh, hard round, let's find soft round. And so now we can close and open that, close and open right here in the center and very quickly switch back and forth between those. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to minimize these. If I don't use these and I want more screen real estate, I can pull this over and then this, I can drag this down and over because we want as much space on the screen as we can get. Okay, I'm gonna pinch in. And let's see, I have blending options, and I'm going to select brushes. And we're gonna increase the size. Um, blend is probably not what I meant. Or blend is, is probably not the tool I'm looking for. Let's do mix brush tool. Okay. If you have two keyboard shortcuts here for the same tool, then one of them will um, it will toggle back and forth between those two. All right. So let's see here. Okay, that's getting me more of what I want. Let's increase the size here. Yes, very lovely. Okay, and we can choose more options here inside of blending. All right, so now we can choose our brush. We can pick color. We can resize, adjust opacity up and down. And one more setting that you want to be aware of, this is I just created a new layer. So you can see new layer, new layer. Delete it, yes. Delete, don't show again, yes. All right, so one of the things that I want to point out, uh, well, right over here, number one, uh, this is multiply mode. So if I'm if I'm painting and I want to add some shadows here, I can do it this way. This one brings it back to normal. Um, my thought was multiply like a calculator, normal like a normal person, and screen is like a screen. So this is a good way to add um, uh, highlights and shadows. Very easy, very quick. And this is opacity down here. So if you want to do 20%, 60%, 90%, double tap, nine, uh, this one 90% twice will put you at 99% opacity, which is pretty close. All right, so you guys get an idea of how this works over here. Um, these all have tool tips. Lasso, deselect, this is your move, move tool. If you want to expand out into full screen right here, uh, copy, paste, cut, enter, escape. All right, now, if you want to change some of these buttons, then uh, watch the layout editor video, and I'll have a link to that in the description. There's also the erase button right here that will turn whatever brush you're using into an eraser. You can toggle that on and off, and it retains the style of the brush that you're using. Oh, the last thing, some of these buttons, the resize here, uh, may not be smooth on your system, and there's a uh, what I believe is a bug in Windows that they are working on. Let me show you real quickly where that is. We're going to hit the win key and we're going to type control panel. We're going to go to hardware and sound. 
uh, nope. Pen and touch. If you want to adjust this, you use the button pen. Uh, so right here, press and hold as right click. Turning this off is a great option for artists. Enable press and hold right click. I'd turn that off because if I'm trying to do little detailed work, it'll accidentally trigger the right click action. I don't want that. Okay, the other place that we want to go here, we're going to hit the Windows key and type mouse settings. And we're going to go to additional mouse settings, pointer options, and display pointer trails. Set it to short, click apply, okay. And what this is going to do is this is going to smooth out this action here. So it's nice and smooth on your system. The same thing with resize. All right, hopefully you found this helpful. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. If you have something that's not working, uh, ask me about it and I'll try and answer that as quick as possible. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.